Nature and the Environment Unit 1 Antarctica Antarctica is another name for the South Pole. It is also a continent. A long time ago, the South Pole was close to the equator. That was 500 million years ago. It was once joined to Australia. Then, all the land on Earth started to move. Antarctica moved away from Australia and went south. Dinosaur bones were once found at the South Pole. Do you know why? Dinosaurs lived there millions of years ago. This was before it moved away from the equator. About 98% of this continent is frozen. The rest is made up of rock. The South Pole has 87% of the world's ice. But did you know that it gets very little snow? Only about 2 inches of snow falls each year. How many people live on your continent? No one lives in the South Pole. Only animals, like penguins, live there. Scientists and tourists visit there, but they don't stay long. Do you want to visit Antarctica? It is the coldest, driest place on Earth. Unit 2. A Hiking Trip Hi, Anne. Did you sign up for the trip on Saturday? What trip is that? I didn't know there was a trip on Saturday. The hiking club is going to Bear Mountain. The bus drops us off at the bottom and we're going to hike until we get to a cabin halfway up the mountain. That sounds really great. Where can I sign up? Go and see Jennifer. She'll help you sign up. What activity will we do when we get to the cabin on the mountain? Well, it takes seven hours to hike to the cabin, so it will be late by the time we arrive. After we unpack, we'll start a campfire. Then we can sing, eat, and tell stories around the fire. The following day, we'll leave at dawn and hike to the top of the mountain. After we take pictures, we'll hike back down. If we have time, we might go swimming in the lake on the mountain. Those sound like really fun activities, and I can't wait to go. Unit 3. Save the Turtles Have you heard about the plan to save turtles in Mexico? No, what is the story? Turtles are in danger of becoming extinct around the world. Every year, thousands of turtles lay eggs on the beach. After the turtles lay their eggs in the sand, people come along and take them. I suppose the people like eating turtle eggs. Exactly. Turtles are beginning to stay away from certain places now. There are fewer and fewer of them left. There is a new project in Mexico to save these eggs. Then turtles will not become extinct. I think it's a very good project. Is there anything we can do to help? I'm going to call the Environmental Protection Hotline. They might have some information about the project to help save turtles in Mexico. They might even have a brochure. Let's find the website on my computer. Oh, here it is. The address is www.enviro.com. There's plenty of information here. Great! Let's see what we can do to help save turtles in Mexico. Unit 4. Hiking in Iran Most people think that the Middle East is only a desert. This is far from true. Last year, I went hiking in Iran. Iran has many mountains. You can find trees that lose their leaves in winter. If you're lucky, you may see a yellow deer or a brown bear, two species that live there. The air is fresh and you can swim in clear, clean lakes. I definitely recommend it. There are so many birds to see. It is fun to go into the forest with binoculars to look at birds. Seeing the birds through binoculars makes them seem much nearer than they actually are. You can write down all of the species that you see. You should learn about their calls first. That means the sounds that each bird makes. Sometimes it's hard to see the birds. However, you can identify them if you happen to hear them. I want to go back to Iran again someday. It's so beautiful that I want to see and explore much more of it. 
Unit 5. Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall went to Africa when she was 26 years old. She went there to research chimpanzees. At that time, no other women scientists worked there alone. At first, Jane studied the chimps from far away. The chimps were afraid of her. They ran away if she came close to them. After some time, the chimps saw that she was not going to hurt them. They let her walk near them. Soon, she was living among them. She wanted to learn more and more about them. Jane did a lot of research on chimps. She discovered many new things about them. She learned that each chimp has its own personality. She saw that they have feelings. Jane discovered that chimps have very close families. Mothers and fathers take good care of baby chimps. An adult female chimp will sometimes adopt an orphan. In 1977, Jane started an institute to help protect animals. She wanted to help animals all around the world. Today, this institute runs programs in over 70 countries. Science and Technology Unit 6 Flying Cars Listen to this. This newspaper article says that some scientists are working on a new kind of airplane. People can use these flying cars for short trips. How interesting! The article says the first flying car might be ready within the next few years. That's quite soon. How would this flying car work? Can anybody use one, or is it only for people who know how to fly airplanes? You don't need to be an airplane pilot to use a flying car. The article says there would be a computer inside the car that would know where you want to go. The driver does not need to control the car unless something goes wrong. Does the article say how much a flying car would cost? It will probably cost too much money. We would not be able to afford one. True. But wouldn't it be nice to fly over traffic jams instead of sitting in the middle of them? Yes, but then we might end up with traffic jams in the sky. Unit 7. The Perfect Gift Hello and welcome to Robux. How may I help you? I would like to buy my wife a home appliance for her birthday. What sort of appliance are you looking for, sir? I think a dishwasher might be the perfect gift because it will help with the housework. Oh yes, dishwashers are very useful. This one here is our most popular model. How does it work? It's very simple. First, collect your dirty dishes and scrape off the leftover food into the garbage can. Then rinse the dishes in the sink. Put glasses, cups and cutlery on the top rack. Plates, bowls and pots go face down on the bottom rack. Then, fill this compartment with detergent and close the door. Next, choose the wash cycle and finally press the start button. You'll have sparkling clean dishes in 45 minutes. That sounds easy to use. I think my wife will really like it. How much does it cost? You're lucky, sir. It's on sale this week for $400. Great, I'll take it. Unit 8, Acupuncture. Acupuncture began in China thousands of years ago. It is a special way to treat sick people. There are many acupuncture spots on the human body. Small metal needles are put into spots on the body. Each spot is connected to a special body part or system. There are many spots for each part. An expert puts the needles into these spots in a person's body. These spots connect to the body system that has a problem. The needles do not go deep. People say that the needles do not hurt. We are not sure why acupuncture works, but studies have shown that it works very well. No one can explain why. Doctors think that it helps the nerves in the body. Some doctors use acupuncture to treat people who cannot take medicine. People in Asia have been using this special method for a long time. At first, people outside Asia did not trust this method. They did not think that it would help them. Now, 
it has become very popular around the world. Unit 9. Albert Einstein Albert Einstein is famous around the world. He is famous for his work in science. Many people think that he was the greatest scientist of the 20th century. Einstein was born in Germany in 1879. His interest in science began when he was very young. Someone gave him a compass in 1884. Young Einstein was interested in how it worked. He wanted to learn science. He wanted to become a scientist. Einstein tried to enter a top Swiss university. At first, he met with failure. He did not get a place. But Einstein did not give up easily. He applied again to the same university in the next year. This time, he was successful. Einstein was a good student. He graduated from this famous university in 1896. As a scientist, Einstein did important work in the field of physics. His work was very good. He received the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. In 1933, he went to live in the United States with his wife. Unit 10. The Telescope Come and look at the telescope I got for my birthday. That's neat! Yeah, now we can look at the moon. Did you know that the moon is the Earth's only natural satellite? No, I didn't know that. I thought the moon was a planet. Well, a planet moves around the sun, but a satellite moves around a planet. Oh, I see. Can you see other planets with your telescope? Sure. I can see two planets close to Earth really well. Which planet is closest to Earth? Mars is the closest planet to Earth. Many scientists believe that Mars once had rivers and oceans just like Earth. Mars has two moons. That's cool! What is the other planet near Earth? The other planet near Earth is Venus, but Venus has no moons. Do you think people will ever be able to visit Mars or Venus? Maybe someday people will be able to visit Mars. But not Venus, because it's too hot. Well, at least we can see them with your new telescope. Art and Culture Unit 11. The Mona Lisa What are you looking at, Billy? This is a copy of my favorite painting. It's the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Why is that your favorite painting? Well, there are a few things that make the Mona Lisa great. First, she has no eyebrows. Second, she has a really beautiful smile. Most of all, I like the soft colors of the painting. Have you seen the Mona Lisa before? It is a very famous painting. Of course! I've seen the painting a few times before. But I never noticed that her eyebrows are missing. I wonder why she has no eyebrows. Do you know why? At the time da Vinci painted it, it was fashionable for young Italian girls to shave off their eyebrows. Every girl wanted to be fashionable. Wow, that's really interesting. In what year was the Mona Lisa painted? I think it was painted sometime between 1503 and 1505. I wonder what a modern Mona Lisa would look like. She might have purple hair. Unit 12. Bang Yi. Once upon a time, there was a poor, kind man named Bang Yi. He had a rich but greedy brother. One day, Bang Yi asked his brother to give him some grain seeds to grow. His greedy brother gave Bang Yi some poisoned seeds. Only one plant grew from the poisoned seeds, but Bang Yi was very happy. He took good care of the plant. Then, one afternoon, a bird came and stole the plant. 
Bang Yi chased the bird into the forest. In the forest, he saw two monsters using a magic stick to turn rocks into food. Bang Yi hid behind a big rock and watched the monsters. The monsters ate a lot of food. Soon, they became very sleepy. When the monsters had fallen asleep, Bang Yi took their magic stick. He became very rich. Bang Yi's greedy brother went to the forest to find a magic stick for himself. The angry monsters saw him. They chased him deep into the forest. The greedy brother was never seen again. Unit 13, Friendship Day. Friends are an important part of our lives. They help us in many ways. Do you tell your friends that you are glad they are your friends? Everyone should tell their friends that they are special. Did you know that there is now a special day just for friends? This day is called National Friendship Day. The first Sunday in August was chosen to be National Friendship Day in 1935. This holiday is not as big as Christmas or New Year's Day. However, it is still a special day. People are usually too busy to visit their friends often, but this day is different. On this day, people take time to tell their friends how much they care. They write cards or send emails to their friends. They may also call their friends no matter how busy they are. People hug their friends or spend time with them. There are many ways to show you care. You need not wait for a special day. Call your friends right now.